Ladies and gentlemen, Demons and Caballeros, 100 videos ago, I called my mom and I said, Mama, I'm a be a star. And she said, you go get a El Agustin. And 100 videos ago, I started this channel. And since then, I have had 3 million views, 300,000 hours of watch time, and 45,000 subscribers. And you might be asking yourself, Augustine, how much does that translate into Vietnamese dong? Well, a little over 597 million Vietnamese dong. That's a lot of pho. Or in US dollars, $25,684.72. But to me, it's so strange to look at the big picture because it makes it look like it's one thing, but reaching those numbers was a slow process and took so much work. I mean, in those 100 videos, there is four to 500 pages of writing, over 400 clips, hundreds of hours of editing, hundreds of hours of studying, and dozens of books read. And $25,000 is decent money. I'm happy with that, but I'll be honest, money is the least significant thing I have made in this process because YouTube has changed my life. And obviously it didn't change my life by making me rich, but it changed my life by teaching me so much. To me, this experience has just been a journey of a lifetime because in the last year and a half, and especially in the last seven months since I quit my job, I have learned so much. And in this video, I just kind of want to reflect on that because when you decide to take a chance in life and do something a little bit out of the ordinary, the lessons you learn are worth more than any financial reward. And I know that there is someone out there that wants to take a chance in life. And I hope that my lessons from this experience will inspire you to seek your best life. So here are 10 life lessons I've learned since starting YouTube. Lesson one, never stop dreaming. Before starting this YouTube channel, I got my first adult job at age 27 and I started the job making $48,000 and I finished the job at $72,000 a year. And after a while of doing that job, for the first time in my life, I felt old because I was in this routine of waking up, working until five and having the weekends off. And after a while, I remember thinking to myself, is this it? Before I had this high paying adult job, I was traveling the world, I was living abroad, and I was gaining so many different life experiences. And although I wasn't making that much money, I woke up excited. I was growing and learning as a person every day. But when I had this adult job for the first time in my life, I felt like I was at this standstill. I felt like money and security were scaring me away from dreaming. I realized that I needed to stop seeking this path of becoming a boring adult and start dreaming again to not let money, opportunity, and security scare me away from doing what I want in life. And so I started this and then I learned my second lesson. Lesson two, you don't need to know what you're doing, you just need to start. When I first started YouTube, I didn't know anything about lighting, editing, writing, camera functions, or talking to a camera. But the interesting thing about YouTube is if you go back to anybody's video with a decent following, the first video sucks. I mean, go to your favorite YouTuber and their video is awful and you ask yourself, how did they make it so big? But as you see them progress with each video, they get a little bit better. I mean, if you look back at my first video, it was terrible. I was so awkward talking to the camera. The lighting was terrible. The sound was terrible. And this is my hundredth video. And although I'm not amazing at this, I think I'm much better than when I started. And I think in anything in life, when you first start, you're going to suck, but you shouldn't let that prevent you from starting. And I think that whatever you choose to do in life, you just need to start. It doesn't matter if you don't know what you're doing. And if you take that first step, you have already beat out 99% of people because most people won't even start. And it's a slow process. You learn as you go very slowly. And in that slow process, I learned my third lesson. Lesson three, the universe is conspiring in your favor, even though you may not understand how. 
About 10 videos in, I almost gave up because not one of my videos had more than 10 views. And when you put so much effort in and see no results, it's so discouraging. And so for a month and a half, I just stopped posting. Until one week, I was watching my sister's dog. And when I was at her house, I picked up this book, The Alchemist. And I read a quote that made me want to continue on my journey. And it's this. The path of the personal calling is no easier than any other path, except that our whole heart is in this journey. Then we warriors of the light must be prepared to have patience in difficult times and to know that the universe is conspiring in our favor, even though we may not understand how. I think with anything in life, you need hope and you need faith. You need to believe in yourself and believe that if you work hard, the universe will eventually cut you some slack. And so I continued on my journey, posting and posting and seeing no results. And although I didn't see any results, I did learn my fourth lesson. Lesson four, it can't just be about money. I think if you wanna do something long-term and avoid burnout, it can't just be about money. Because if it's just about money, I think that normally one of two things happen. Either one, you will give up very quickly, or two, you will make money, but you will feel empty inside. There has to be something else besides money. You either have to find enjoyment out of it, or you have to find meaning out of it. And I'll be honest, posting two videos, what I do is so challenging, but I enjoy writing. I believe in the message of this channel, and I believe based on when I read comments or get emails, that it's helping people. And knowing that and having that other reason allows me to keep pushing when times get tough. Money is important, you have to pay the bills, but I think that when you pursue your own path in life, it can't just be about the money. You have to have some other reason and money will eventually follow. For nine months, I was posting video after video. I did not make one single dollar or see any results, but I did find enjoyment out of it. And on my 30th video, I finally started to see results and I learned my fifth lesson. Lesson five. An overnight success never happens overnight. My channel drastically changed after I posted a video called Why I'm Extremely Frugal that now has over half a million views. And this video made my channel change overnight. And let me show you how drastic this change was. So on May 19th, my channel was getting 62 views a day, which at that time was good. And then over time, in the next two weeks, my channel climbed to 33,000 views in one single day, completely changing my channel, and that is the point that I monetized. And from the perspective of an outsider, it might look like an overnight success, but the truth is it wasn't that video that did it. It was the previous 29 where I learned how to write, I learned how to edit, I learned how to be comfortable in front of a camera, and I learned about the algorithm. It took nine months of constantly failing over and over and over until I finally had something that worked, until I started to understand and scratch the surface on how to make videos that appeal to an audience. There is no such thing as an overnight success. It takes a lot of work and a lot of failing until something finally works. And then when I saw the potential of an income, I started to consider quitting my job and I learned the sixth lesson. Lesson six, the biggest risk in life is not taking one. As I said in the beginning of this video, one of the big reasons for this channel is because I wanted the next great life adventure. And once I started to see the potential, even just $1 of income, I started to consider quitting my job. And oftentimes in life, when we want to do something that's positive, that benefits us, we question it. And we think about all these risks involved, but we don't think about the risks of not doing it. We don't consider the risks of staying, of living this life of quiet, screaming desperation. And I think that the risk of not doing something is greater than the risk of doing something. If I chose to stay at my safe, 
high paying job, I would have risked living this life of regret. The risk of staying was riskier than the risk of leaving. And seven months later, I believe it is one of the best decisions that I have made in my life. It has made my life so rich. And once I quit my job, I became the owner of my time and I learned my seventh lesson. Lesson seven, freedom isn't going to meet you halfway. You have to chase it every day. I think that there's this glamorous idea that when you quit your job and pursue your passion, things will just change all of a sudden. But when I quit my job, things didn't just change. My days continued as normal. And although I had complete control over my time, I still didn't feel free. Despite being my own boss and having complete control over my time, I didn't have the sense of freedom that I thought I would have. And I learned that freedom doesn't just come to you, but you have to chase freedom. And so one night I decided I needed to celebrate this freedom in my life. So I just randomly bought a ticket to visit Ecuador. And since then, I try to embrace freedom as much as I can for as long as I have it. Freedom doesn't just come to you and it's not permanent. So you can't take it for granted. It's something you have to intentionally seek every single day. It's something you have to embrace as hard as you can for as long as you have it, because you don't know how long you will have freedom. And at the same time that I was learning about freedom, I was also learning about success. And I learned my eighth lesson. Lesson eight, success isn't owned. It's rented, and rent is due every day. I used to think that success was definite, that once you have success in your life, you will continue having it, and things will come easier for you. But that is not true. Success is something that you have to constantly be working on. Success is something you have to fight for every day, or you will lose it. I think in order to achieve success in anything, there kind of has to be this sense of obsession and paranoia. It's something that you have to fight for every single day because success isn't permanent. And the second you start to think that success is permanent, then you'll die out. I mean, think about Sears. They were once as big as Amazon and now they're basically gone. And Amazon will eventually die out too. I don't know how, but all businesses eventually do. Maintaining success is so difficult and it is not permanent unless you are Elton John. Success is kind of like a muscle where you have to constantly be working it out or you will become weak. And the more I started to see success and positive things in my channel, I started to really understand success. And that's my ninth lesson. Lesson nine. Success is just failure. Since starting this YouTube journey, one quote that has just really inspired me to keep pushing when I don't see any results was a quote by Winston Churchill, where he said, success is going from failure to failure without losing your enthusiasm. I used to think that successful people never failed and things just always worked out for them. But that is not true. Successful people fail the most, but the difference between their failures is they don't give up, they keep moving, and they don't lose their enthusiasm. You know, I don't claim to be this very successful person, but I do think that I have achieved some level of success on my channel. I mean, 300,000 hours of watch time, that's 34 years of people watching me. And that's not from clickbaity videos with no substance, but I do believe that my videos add value into people's lives. But a lot of the times I just feel like a complete failure. I feel like I'm failing after failing after failing, but I know that if I keep moving and even in the future, success will eventually come and then success will eventually go away because success isn't permanent. And throughout these 100 videos, I give you my final lesson. Lesson 10, everyone should take a chance at least once in their life. The point of this video is to show you what happens when you take a chance. I am not some YouTube millionaire who has made it big. I still think my channel is decently small, but I am proud of this channel. I am proud that I took a chance to do something different. And when you do something different and you take a chance, money isn't the only reward. 
Whenever you take a chance, you end up learning so many things. As silly as it sounds, this small, insignificant YouTube channel has changed me so much as a person. I have made 100 videos, and there's no doubt in my mind that I can make 100 more, and I am excited to make 100 more. Everyone should take a chance at least once in their lifetimes to do something crazy. It doesn't have to be YouTube, maybe not that crazy because it is pretty crazy, but take a chance to do something. What the hell do you have to lose? Because when you take a chance, you end up learning so many different things. And with that, muchas gracias, que tengo un buen día, video 100. I also made a Patreon page. If you want to join my Patreon page, link in the description. But no vemos chico for 100 more.